going on, mother truckers? So, the situation with Royal Bengal Logistics, um, the owner got arrested, and I mean, it still is under investigation, so we can't say if he really did this $100 million Ponzi scheme or not, but Jenna's gonna take me to the headquarters, and let's see if they're actually open or not. So one thing we're observing is uh, some of the cars, uh, their tires are slashed. This side. Right here, well, right here as well. Looks like another car got slashed. So maybe unhappy company drivers or investors. We're not sure, but we're just showing you what we're seeing. So check this out, people. You know, Jenna brings up a really good point right here. This is a pro shred security information destruction at your door. So, what is the company doing? What are they destroying? I mean, maybe it might be something else. I don't know. It might be another company. I don't know. I mean, this why is, is it here? Let's check it out. At the exact yeah, let's check it out. Situation. We're out here right now at the headquarters. I've had already seven anonymous truck drivers and investors tell me that they had to drop off their trucks in their Texas uh, um, drop yard. Mm -hmm. But I see a Royal Bengal right here, logistics truck. And I'm actually right behind this camera. We're going to keep this anonymous as of now. But what were you doing with this company, sir? I was an investor. So is this a company owned or were these owner operators? How did they potentially scam these people uh, how much you know, time you have um tell me just uh the short story or what what, what was it exactly the short version they painted a picture of a well-organized um uh, company yeah i came from a um, diesel mechanic background yeah and when he the way the guy explained to me was that um they buy your truck Oh, they buy you a truck. Right. You get them the money. They, you lease the truck to them. And in return, they'll pay you. And when a guy explained to me, like, every three months, they rotate the vehicle to Texas to have tires, maintenance on it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is a well-organized organization I want to be a part of. So I did some research. Um, I talked to some other people. And I'm like, man, this is... And, you know, they sold me the dream. And, like, we make $10,000 a month. $10,000 a month. And man, and uh, and since we're keeping you anonymous here, mm -hmm. um, how much money did you invest? A hundred, a hundred thousand dollars of your hard-earned money. Yes. And did you did they at least try to fake to look like you got profit back for a yes. little bit? For three months, they they give us money, and with the promise after three months you will see a registration, VIN number. Of the truck and photos of the truck that you potentially own. So you don't even know the truck. No. They just say every time it switches off and, and you're just putting in. So every so that first month, how much money did they give you? Six grand. So you're like, this is real. Yes. And then the second month, how much did they give you? Six grand. And then the third month. Six grand. And really, all they're doing is probably giving you your own no money, money back. back. Yes. So they were just giving you your own money back, but saying it was from the company making money. Yes. Oh my gosh. Wow. And, they, and I tell you, they start everything up from the beginning. You pick a company name, you incorporate, they give you a uh, the EIN numbers. Everything. So everything seems legit. And that's crazy. And I came here twice. I came here as soon as it opened, about 930-ish, maybe 12 FBI agents walked into the building, sealed the building off. So they sealed up there. So what floor is it? I'm going to go check it out. Third floor. Third Suite, floor? Suite 100. Suite 100? They'll let me in? Oh, yeah. Just go to the elevator and go to the floor. But like I said, the office is locked. Not a problem. And Suite 100. No, thank I mean, you 300. for your, uh, 300. 300. Yes. Thank you. As you can see here on the video, I mean, it's anonymous. You're, you're not on here. Nothing wow. like that. You know what and I mean? And this is another thing. That's what draws you in. You see a truck 
and think it's legit. So is this the one truck yeah. that they were probably there was using? Two. There was a blue one and this one. So they were, and, and you go to the terminal, there are trucks there. Yes. I talked to someone earlier. He was the fleet manager. Yeah. And he said they was doing fine. And they brought in some shady people. Uh-huh. And it just imploded. So that's what happened. They were trying to do the right thing first. And then things got dicey. Yes. And then that's when they started taking investors' Absolutely. money. Absolutely. Okay, I got you. So just for everybody to see, they would have one to two trucks, a red one and a blue one, just like this, out at their headquarters here. And then, so all the investors, they're looking at it and saying, this is real. Yes. And then at the terminal, you can see that there's a whole bunch of trucks. And there's three buildings. So I'm going to wrap this around this way. So tell, there's dispatching on the first floor. Right. Uh, management and fleet management on the second floor. And on the third floor is corporate management. Wow. So how many employees did you always see when you walked in? I saw in the, and they call it the uh, investor development at least seven people so you're always so you're you're seeing everything you're seeing the organization you're seeing the building of it you're like how can this not be legit absolutely oh my gosh now i appreciate your time brother no, no. problem man all right mother truckers so they said the bottom floor was dispatching the second was what it was and third was the investor floor let's see what they have So it is locked. Uh, just like the investor said uh, just minutes ago, about 12 FBI agents were just right here. So this was Royal Bengal Logistics. And what they were doing was they were just scamming investors. And the investors didn't know anything about it. The drivers are here trying to get answers that are working for the company because they believe that they were just company drivers for the company. They did not know that they were actually getting their truck and the person that actually owned that note was not Royal Bengal, but was an investor. So they all had different EIN numbers and different carrier numbers. So yeah, definitely really fishy stuff. And that investor, he didn't want to be on camera, but he said he was about to give them another $100,000 today. So this all happened and he's a hard working guy. So, you know, this is where it's at. So yeah, just showing you guys.